Hello everybody, my name is AP Ashton and today's C4D tutorial um, is all about many ways of baking textures inside Cinema 4D with the UV tags, uh, the UVW tags, okay? It will be doing it just like how inside 3ds Max where it actually has a UV um, W unwrapped to it, but it has channels and the channels you choose because there's different UVs the way you set it up. So I'm pretty much going to show you how to set that up and then bake that stuff out in those coordinates of those UVs with tiled objects or certain just a quick map to the object that you always start off with when you do Cinema 4D. So for example, like if I have a basic cube here, right, and I just go to my materials and I say, hey, let me just wrap, um, quickly put the texture on this, right? So you notice it just mapped like that. Let's just say you want to bait that out like that, right? But I'm going to um, delete that, right? And I have these two cubes already in my scene, already uh, mapped it with textures, and one is tile, one is mixed it, it's tile, and just a quick map, quick map around by the normal default of the C4D material settings. So if I go to attributes, right, and I click on my cube one and I go to my first texture tag which is the map you notice this one is set on UV UVW mapping right and if I go to the second material which is applied to this cube one you notice it's set on cubic projection is set on cubic right which is this top part okay that's pretty much it so if I go to my materials just to I'm going to open up my materials and click this and then just change this to clean. There you go. Make sure it's clear in the editor. So I go to preview size for the resolution, which is 2K. And there you go. So I can see what I'm dealing with. All right. So since I have this one as cubic, which is this top part, so this is being tile. And if I go to the cube two, I just have the opposite. So the top, um, the first one, I have a cubic, which is this bottom one. The one was going cross, and on top, I have the material. It's UVW um, mapping. So I mixed it up so it could be some kind of complex in a way. But let's get started and let's start with our whole process on how to bake this stuff out. So you see these two tags, right? So the first thing that you want to do is you want to con hit control and drag this first one. We deal with cube one here. Let me just highlight it so I can just let you know that's what I'm dealing with first. And I'm going to go to cube two and then I'm going to click on this tag and I'm going to bring it in the front. Oops, sorry. Click one of these, thank you, and then there you go. All right, so reason why we put these here is because this is what we're actually projecting right now. This is our projection UVs, okay? And what we want to do is we just want to lock these, right? Because we're going to unlock them later on, but we really don't have to lock it. What we want to lock is these set here. But with these set, we actually want to fool with the actual UV itself, okay? So keep these two here, okay? They are just saying, hey, I'm gonna keep how this look. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to cube one and select this and select this one, okay? So we have these two. And the way we wanna see like how we're gonna lay it out, it ain't like Cinema 40 actually has some kind of tool that allow you to see multiple objects and you can see all the UVs all on this one dash of sheet that you're trying to um, pack it on. Um, there is a plugin and it's called Seamler and you can use that plugin and, and apply the tag to it and you can actually have all your objects and all the UVs all on one so you can really lay it out the way you want to lay it out on your UV sheet. Okay, so what we what we're going to do now is we're going to go to materials 
and I already have a checker map okay and this one I made is a custom one okay and what I'm gonna do with this one I'm gonna apply it to this cube one and I'm gonna apply it to cube two okay now we're gonna delete this okay we are going to delete this after we're finished but we want to see where we're actually going to place these UVs, okay? So the first one is, I'm going to go to cube one, and I'm going to do UV texture, and I already enable it. So to enable the UV texture sheet is, I'm sorry, is pretty much by right clicking, and you just hit enable 3D paint, and you will actually see it in your textures list. Now, another way to go about that is by going to edit, and switch it to compact, and then you just check this little icon here. Like for example, if I want to check this here, see how that works? I do it again, do it again. So that's another way how you can do all of it. Okay, so let's just switch that back. All right, and I'm gonna go in UV polygon mode. And we're on cube one, yep. So cube one, and what we're gonna do is and go to UV mapping and you could go with the box method here projection or you go with the optical mapping if you want but um, I'm just gonna go with this box one and I'm just want to put it in this 512 radius right here so I'm gonna put it in like this and I'm just gonna scale it in like that there you go so Let's just say we don't want it like that. Let's just say we really, really want to get a more crazy resolution, right? So we decide to say, hey, let's scale it up big. Almost the size of a 512. And let's put it like that. And let's put it like that. Okay, so let's, uh, I just want to say it's a little sorry with the noise in the background. So we got that to do. All right, good. Now we're on two, cube two. Now in cube two, we know we already used it up this side here, right? And I'm gonna use optical mapping for this one. And I'm just going to hit apply. And I'm just gonna shift it over here. And I'm just gonna scale it down like that. Perfect. And if I go between both of these, so if I come here, you notice this tie pretty much saying this. And this tie is saying on this side. Now, let's kind of fix this. Okay. Uh, all right, there you go. And let's go to view. And what we're going to do, we're going to select both of these. I'm going to go to attributes and we're going to lock it. All right, good. So we're like, okay, we're not seeing our normal texture yet because we're gonna delete these now. So let's delete these two. We don't need those no more. All right, good. So now we know exactly where it is on our UV sheet. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna bake it. So we're gonna select these two objects and then we're gonna go to tags and we're going to, oops, sorry, objects and then we go to bake object. Okay, so Inside our big object settings here, we're going to say keep the UVs, of course, which is our main ones, the ones where we lock. And I'm just using the lock to say, hey, these are my main UV, okay? So what I'm going to do is my pixel board is two. I'm going to turn it down to one, I guess. Um, or you can turn it up to two. Um, leave it at two. Of course, I want to keep it as my 2K size resolution. And... I already have a destination the way I want it and my format will be bitmap and I think I'm good to go so what I'm going to do now is just going to hit bake and I wanted to go all on one single up um, texture of course 
So then I'm just gonna hit bait and poof. And if I open up a window, poof, there you go. Perfect, perfect, very perfect. So this is the tile it, this is the UVW mapping projection. This is a UVW projection here. And this is the one with I tile. Perfect, nice and very easy. And that's how you can pretty much use the UV tags with your bacon method. So you're wondering why it's black inside the viewport. Well, it's not. The problem is the fact that I gotta go to materials, click on this, and then I just go to color, uncheck reflectance, and you go to editor, and then you just set it to 2K, of course, and there you go. You have it inside the viewport, everything looks fine, and you could actually move these objects around, and they all on the same texture sheet. Perfect. So, yep, that's how you can go about using the bay texture methods, pretty much um, baking it to the UV, um, the UV channels that you set up. And I hope Maxon can actually just make a whole system like inside Trader's Max where you actually have UV channels one time and you choose the channel that you wanted to bake onto. Instead, you have to do this method. Okay? So... Yep, that's pretty much it. I hope that this tutorial helped you out with baking textures, pretty much to, with your materials. Um, the next one will be where we actually use ba um, the bake texture tag and full limit the cage system. That will be the next tutorial.